Greetings fellow users. It's been quite a while, but there's finally some major news to report. Both YTV and Chorus Entertainment release teaser images of the Guardian Code. From YTV's Twitter, came this tweet showcasing the live action portion of the Guardian Code. Tamra, portrayed by Sydney Scotia, Parker, portrayed by AJ Perrick Fries, Vera, portrayed by Hannah Van Den Bigot, Austin, portrayed by Ty Wood, Trey, portrayed by Gabriel Darku. And surprisingly, fans reacted extremely negatively. Here are just some examples of the over 500 replies. No. No! <laughs> the sheer number of replies is quite unprecedented. YTV's tweets rarely get more than a handful of replies and they generally aren't negative. One must presume that someone took note of the nearly 600 negative replies. Many made comparisons to previous shows such as VR Troopers, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, Zix, Code Lyoko, its sequel Code Lyoko Evolution, which replaced the 2D segments with live action, and of course the 1982 movie Tron. These five science fiction titles share a general theme of humans entering the digital world to battle malevolent forces. In the case of the television shows, the heroes were all young teenagers. From Chorus Entertainment we had a press release showcasing the CGI aspect of the new show. The teens as Vector, Googs, Enigma, and Defrag. The press release stated the following. Wow, Unlimited Media's mainframe studios and Chorus Entertainment are pleased to announce that production is underway in Victoria and Vancouver on the live action elements of Reboot, The Guardian Code, a 20, 22 minute live action CG animated hybrid television series. This next phase of production reimagines the original 1994 animated classic, Reboot, in a real life setting for modern, tech savvy audiences. Created by Michael Hefferon, the show follows four teenagers who discover that they've been selected to become the next generation Guardians of Cyberspace. Reboot, The Guardian Code will premiere in Canada in 2018 on YTV. After playing the multiplayer Cyber Guardians video game together, four teenagers are recruited by Vera, the virtual evolutionary recombinant avatar, to fulfill their mandate to mend and defend cyberspace. Austin, Tamra, Parker, and Trey, now must protect cyberspace from threats that pose true consequences to both the virtual and real world. It's more than these kids expected when they started at Alan Turing High. Way more. Reboot, The Guardian Code intercuts live action scenes with awe-inspiring CG animation produced with the Unreal Game Engine, showing how the real world and cyberspace are interconnected. The power of the game engine's capabilities to create vast cyberspace settings along with artificial intelligence, for dynamic secondary animation fused with live action, will deliver a truly unique and engaging experience for viewers, says creator and executive producer Michael Hefferon.
as groundbreaking as the original reboot was being the first ever CG animated series reboot, The Guardian Code takes it to a whole new level. This innovative series will also deliver true 360 degree engagement experiences for audiences with interactive mobile games, a digital trading card game that syncs with the broadcast of the series, and a virtual reality experience that puts fans right in the middle of the cyberspace action. More details to be announced at a later date. Beyond the promotional images seen in the press release, I discovered two additional photos on the Chorus server. Whoa, now that's new. These photos have yet to be published in a press release. Nothing good's gonna come out of this! Matrix! Frisk it! It's alright Dot, let him get it out of his system. Take a look at a reboot revival exclusive. In the first image, we see Austin, as Vector, facing off against an insect. This appears to be one of the many cyberbugs that the teens are battling against in the previous promotional image. The first time we saw an insect virus was the praying mantis virus in the episode icons. His HUD bears an uncanny resemblance to the display used in the Iron Man movies produced by Marvel. In the second image, we see the four teens standing together under the archway of a currently unknown device. Behind them are their digital avatars. The device appears to be a combination of half of a Stargate from the Stargate series and a transporter from Star Trek. Going on some speculation, the device may be a gateway command which was first seen in the episode when games collide. For those unaware, the Gateway Command's design and function are a homage to the Stargate device. There is certainly some potential that this device will function in a similar manner to the scanners used in the Code Lyoko series. The scanners utilize a virtualization sequence which converts the protagonists of that series from physical matter into digital matter. After being converted, they are transmitted into the supercomputer, which contains the virtual world of Lyoko. As you may have noticed, the main characters from the original series such as, Bob, Dot, Enzo, Mouse, Fong, Matrix, and Raya, Ray, Hack and Slash, and even, Mike the TV, were not mentioned in the recent press release by Chorus. While previous, older statements, and Heifer on himself, have said we'd see Bob again, his role will be greatly reduced. Even our primary antagonists, Megabyte and Hexadecimal, are absent from this press release. While Megabyte was spotted in the first teaser image, released two years ago, his appearance was drastically altered. Ah, so, a fate worse than deletion, and they call me a monster. However, with no mention of either villain, the threat the teenagers face may be an entirely new entity called the Sorcerer. According to the press release, by Chorus in 2015, the Sorcerer is a ruthless hacker, seeking to rule the world by controlling cyberspace. The beloved main cast of characters are no longer the focus of this new series. If any of the original characters do make an appearance, it is unknown if they will even sound the same. I have been in contact with the voice actors, and so far not one of them have been contacted by Rainmaker to reprise their role. Hopefully, that will change as production continues on the CGI portion of the show. On a peculiar note, is the official reboot website run by Rainmaker. Abandoned for almost 5 years, Reboot.com was left to wither into a digital wasteland, populated by spam bots. Slowly but surely the site failed, the webcomic stopped loading, glitches occurred, links failed to direct to their intended target, and of course no mention of the Guardian code was ever made. This past December, the site went offline completely for 3 weeks, only to return with a 404 message, utilizing a stock render of Hair Doctor. 
Despite the recent reveal of new information, the site still has yet to receive any updates. Similarly, bringbackreboot.com, an official reboot campaign website run by Rainmaker, has also been abandoned for over three years. Despite the following statement, check back often for the latest data on the net, at the top of the page, there was never an update posted for the Guardian code. The page also claims that, here you will find reboot news, reboot merchandise and competitions. There were never any competitions, certainly not a drop of news, and the only merchandise consisted of a very limited selection of shirts, coffee mugs, and buttons. However, one would assume the abandonment of both websites should come as no surprise, given Rainmaker's overall treatment of the reboot brand, its original co-creators, and its dedicated fanbase. As always the reboot revival will continue to strive toward the revival, not the reboot or reimagining, of the series with the original co-creators producing the conclusion to the fourth season's cliffhanger. If it wasn't obvious enough from all that you've seen, the co-creators still have absolutely no part in this so-called sequel series. They would welcome the chance to work on reboot again, as they still have many stories to tell. As for the fourth season's cliffhanger, it would definitely be concluded properly. Regarding the advances in modern everyday technology, over the past 16 years, they have their own ideas on how to bring the show up to date. However since how well or not this new series does in ratings, with TV critics, network executives, and most importantly both its target audience and fans of the original reboot, news reports will be made as time goes on. Whether or not the Guardian code does spectacularly or fails miserably, it will certainly have some impact on if we will ever see the series continued properly. What are your thoughts on this reveal? Sound off in the comments section below, leave a reply on YTV's tweet, and please take a moment to vote on this poll which you'll find a link to in the description. Thank you, and as always, stay frosty.